What's the hurry? <laughs> Quite the fun. Selections for masterful chefs. Really? Woohoo! That's great! <laughs> it was a total breeze. I wasn't even trying. Oh, uh, but a true champion never rests on their laurels. I'm still gonna need your help to prepare for the competition. I made a few new test dishes and I was hoping everyone could try them and give some feedback. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, we did. And anyway, we. Good idea! Okay, let me think. Hmm. Ah, let's get Beto to try it first. Beto! Yep, you can definitely trust her opinion. Let's go find her. Right now, she should be down at the docks. Let's box up this food real quick, then we can have her down. Beto? Hi, Xinyan. Are we interrupting anything? Shang Ling, <laughs> the woman of the hour. We were just talking about you. Oh, oh, Beto was saying you and I should get ourselves on board sometime. Says the whole crew's been asking for us. <laughs> Seems like you three go way back. Oh, we really do. Beto and Xinyan are two of my oldest customers, and I've helped out in the kitchen on board Beto's ship in the past. Recently, Xinyan's been planning to do a show on board, too. That's the plan. Good music's meant for Sharon. You guys should check it out sometime. Will do. But I came here today because I made it into the Masterful Chef's finals, and I was just trying out some new dishes to bring to the competition. Can you have a little taste and give me some feedback? Sure, beats drinking on an empty stomach. Oh, about time. I'm starving over here. Let's see what you got. Oh, man. This chicken foo young's tasting awesome. Oh, this food is too good for me to be soaking up the alcohol with. <laughs> These three seem to have a great time with each other. Only thing is, you've got three dishes here. Chicken Fu Young, Come and Get It, and Crystal Shrimp, and they all taste kind of refreshing. Uh, is refreshing really a flavor? When you spend all your time at sea, you don't have a lot of choice when it comes to food. Especially on the longer voyages, where you've got to stretch out your rations as far as you can. First thing you want to do when you get back on dry land is dig into a nice hot meal that's swimming in oil and has a ton of flavor. That's the exact opposite of Ning Wong's tastes. Oh, sure is. Beto's tastes are pretty similar to mine and Xiang Ling's. Ugh, Ning Wong. I am sick of hearing that name. 
Our tastes couldn't be more different. You'll never find us eating the same bowl of food. But last time when you were chatting with her, Paimon thought you two seemed to get along just fine. We're evenly matched. Guess that makes us equals. But I'm sorry, limp cabbage leaves are never gonna do it for me. Hear ya. Steamed cabbage and broth might be upper class and look fancy and all, but man, is it boring! It's never gonna give you that flavor explosion you get with some of the other dishes out there. So, Xinyan, are these dishes too mild for you too? Well, not so much mild. I just think you maybe missed a beat somewhere. Exactly. This is some no question about that. But if this is for a competition, it needs more oomph. Beat? Oomph? Mm, are we sure these terms apply to cooking? Beat and oomph. Hmm. Beat, yeah. You know what beat is? I only know music, though. I'm nowhere near your level when it comes to cooking, so... Don't mind me if it doesn't make much sense. No, no, you're both completely right. Beat and oomph. That's what I need. I actually thought as much while I was cooking them. Even though this was a brand new combination, it's it missing that one thing that'll seal the deal. You know, really push it over the finish line. Seems like she's found Um, is music there? Get the implication. I can get being a meanie. Okay, I think I know. Right, so this went really well. Don't hold back. Just get out there and do your thing. You're a pro, Xiang Ling, and you've totally got this. That's my best shot you at Harbor. Ain't that right, Beto? Well, I think so, anyway. More than any other chef. And there ain't a whole lot of people I'd be willing to say that about. <laughs> I'll do my best. Thanks, everyone. All right, we'll leave you to it. I'm gonna take Shin on board for a while. Xiangling, we both had pretty strong taste. You sure that won't be a problem? Shouldn't we get a second opinion from someone with milder tastes? That's a good point. Beto likes her greasy stir fries, and Xinyan can really handle her spice. We should get another opinion. Now, who do we know whose tastes are on the mild side? Uh, who? 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 Oh, right! Makes sense! So, back to Wang Xiu In? Who? You spoke my name, did you not? When I make you a promise... Blink of an eye and poof! He's there! An adeptus? Oh, I've made it into the finals of this year's Masterful Chefs, and I'm testing some dishes out in preparation. I'm trying to get feedback from customers with all different tastes. Customers... and that includes me? Uh-huh. The Traveler says you prefer mild food. Just the kind of person I'm looking for. <sighs> Since it's you, I will do it. Yay! Hmm. Um, how is it? Are you sure you can eat it? Tastes pretty good. Huh? I can't believe it. An adeptus says he likes my cooking. 
If my dad was here, he'd be crying tears of joy. You excel in the culinary arts. I'm reminded of another chef I know. That chef cooks dishes with soul as do- uh, Who do you think he means? Smiley Yencho? If I had to find fault with something, the two sides are a little just my own opinion. All right, go easy on the sub. Thank you, Adeptus friend. I'll be leaving now. See you next time. I still can't believe he- So, what would- Only kinda made good news! After two rounds of taste testing, I've had an idea on what to do next. Great! Lucky we picked the right people to talk to! I better head back and try this out a few times while it's fresh in my mind. Thanks for your help! Will do! Goodbye! The competition bank. Final. The competition headed into the selections. Outstanding chefs in their own right. The two strongest participants were put through today's finals. In just a few short moments, the finals will take place right here before your. As the officiator, 
It is my honor and privilege to represent the organizing committee and in an opening Next, please allow me to introduce the judge. Life's harsh. <laughs> A little feisty, the whole lot of spicy. Give it up, Gemling. Uh, her mysterious assistant, who knows who? Hi, my nose. It's Guava. But I'll do my best. Contestants, please repeat after me. As a finalist in Masterful Chefs, I solemnly swear to commit my fully, compete fairly, and abide by all competition procedures. As a finalist and masterful chefs, I solemnly swear to commit myself fully, compete fairly, and abide by all competition procedures. Uh, as a finalist and masterful chefs, I um, solemnly swear to commit myself fully, compete fairly, and abide by all competition procedures. And I, for my part, promise to uphold the principles of fairness, impartiality, and transparency of proceedings. I will hand things over to the select panel judge, Ningguang, for the announcement of today's theme. Thank you all for being here today at the Masterful Chef's Finals. I am the Tianxuan Ningguang. The theme for today Bounteous land. It really captures the spirit of this year's Moon Chase Festival. It's like surf and turf, but the deep and meaningful version. The rules are simple. The one who receives the most votes wins. Tailor your dishes to the judge's preferences, or win over the audience with your originality. The choice is yours. Well then. I look forward to both of your contributions. Contestants will have one hour of cooking time available and may only use ingredients provided by the organizers in their dishes. I trust this is no problem. Okay, without further ado, let the cooking commence. Begin. Time to pull out all the stops. Show everyone why you're the best. Traveler, Paimon. <laughs> Thanks for coming to support me. Don't you worry. I'm gonna make this the best day she First things first, get the stove on. Triple air is
I won't be the old fogey that ruins it for them. <clears throat> Please allow me to explain to our host. Prior to the contestants, learn that neither side is participating in a way that contravenes the competition. Shangling is a highly accomplished chef, more like family to her. Shangling prepares herself. All that her assistant will do is occasionally provide a fire source. Given Shangling's level of culinary skill, the difference between her using firewood or her assistant is a trivial one. I appreciate everyone's concerns. The presence of a mysterious assistant performing dance moves to cheerlead for Shangling is a little unexpected. But the mysterious assistant has now started cheerleading for Smiley Yenshao too, demonstrating total impartiality. By encouraging both Shangling and her opponent, they have proven to be a fair supporter. That's right! Well, it's not really outside help. Mama just likes to watch people cook. I'm sure the only reason they went over there is to try to help Yen Xiao feel less nervous. I give you all my word. Guoba will not interfere with the competition. And I would also say that it's a loss to the competition if Yen Xiao isn't at the top of his form. I say that as someone who's eaten before. Excellent, Chef. I want this to be a competition between the best we both have. I see. Hmm. Uncle Tian, what's your... I have no objections. It's an honor and a privilege to see two contestants. Hmm. The judge the The competition continues. Yan Xiao, are you all right? I don't know what's wrong with me. I've never been so nervous in my life. Ah, look, my hands won't stop shaking. Take it easy. I've been there before. I can help. Try saying a tongue twister to yourself in your head. Or think of some happy memories about your dad. Why my dad? That's a bit specific. Because that's what I do. Uh, uh, I guess I'll think of my mom then. Uh, anyway, you should carry on. I'll be fine. Don't hold up your own dishes on my account. Nothing's being held up. I'm finished already. Huh? Oh, right. I know this. No, that's the attitude we want. You're a very capable chef, Yen Xiao. So come on, show everyone what you're made of. Just like you showed us last time at Wang Xuan. Yes, you're right. I can do this. I can do this. Thank you, Xiangling. And thanks to your... Um... Well, thanks. Time for me to get cooking. Bah. Time's up! Both contestants have now finished cooking. I would like to invite them to present their dishes to the judges for evaluation. We will proceed in the order that the contestants finished. Xiangling, please describe your dish. My dish... and crisp shrimp. Name is of earth and waterborne, which includes land and sea. In other words, land animals, fowl, and seafood are all potential ingredients. My main dish, Jiyu and chili chicken, is a combination of fowl and chilies. Jiyu and chilies capture the essence of the mountains where they grow, and fowl is a gift from the heavens. Triple layered consomme also uses fowl, and its other ingredients are ham and bamboo shoots. These are also flavors from the mountains, but they complement and contrast with the chicken dish. Fresh and set. Let's see what our next contestant, Yan Xiao, has to say. Does 
land animals, and seafood were also the ingredients I incorporated. Adeptus Temptation is a much-loved dish in Liyue, and as chef of Wang Shuin, I've always been proud to offer this as the signature specialty dish of our menu. It's a complex dish with very particular ingredients. Smoked ham, crab, fresh shrimp meat, and matsutake. I chose this as my main dish as a sign The mint salad is my first side. Cool and tender with a subtle sweetness. It's a perfect answer to the rich. Please sample the dishes. Both contestant dishes are well considered, perfectly made, and truly delicious. I'm gonna have another golden shrimp. Uh, um, I mean, <clears throat> I shall have to sample both contestants' dishes once more before I can reach a verdict. Now, Xiang Ling has taken an interesting approach here. She's chosen a cold dish as her main. I have to say, that's a bold move. It's also a unique take on Zhuiyun chili chicken. Oh, then you get the spiciness and warmth all coming in together. And then just a hint of that wonderful pepperiness to top it all off. It's quite simply extraordinary. Mm, this Adeptus temptation is quite exceptional. It's very. Also, the organizing committee has selected today's judges and are now evaluating the dishes. Everyone who's been lucky enough to see today's dishes their cast your vote independently. Oh, be not involved. Why didn't they pick us to be judges? Paimon has buckets of passion and oodles of expertise when it comes to food. Uh, if they don't want Paimon, it's their loss. Oh. Evie! For all the chefs there are in the world, and for all the amazing dishes that you can cook, the best results of the Masterful Chef's Finals. It is my pleasure to announce that the winner of the Masterful Chef's Finals is... <laughs> By a mere one vote margin. It was a close contest, but we have a winner. Liu Harbor's Yangling has by just one vote. There can only be one winner. The fact that this was so close shows just how much both of the outstanding shows to impress judges. Thank you both for your stellar contributions here today. A big thank you to all the audience for being here today, especially those who have come from far and wide. As officiator, I declare the result of this competition to be fair and valid, thus bringing the Masterful Chef's Finals to a close. Thank you all for coming. Until next time. Please exit the venue in an orderly fashion, and remember to take all of your personal belongings with you. Come on, let's go over and take a look. Looks like I won this time, Michelle. But I still 
Sure. Um, oh, truly exquisite. <laughs> well, just those to show the finer things in life. There you have it. All the greats. The smaller places. Same goes for you. You can't work in in kitchen unless you know how to. It's no wonder your food is so top notch. But I'm glad to have. Let's stay in touch. Maybe find some time in the future to <laughs> uh, trade. You got it. And next time we meet competitors, let's both be. All right, deal. Traveler, did you get to try the food? said that Yen Zhao and I need to register delivery addresses. Apparently, they're gonna deliver exclusive ingredients packages at a later date. So I need to get moving. I'll come to you after. Ah, uh, Xiaoling seems real happy. Good for her. But poverty. As the organizers, they must have gone to wrap up some last minute. So by right, I should be honest with her about this. But as you know, I would be on my person. Contestant Shining may not be able to appreciate this. And I do not know how to deal with people of her temperament. <sighs> I just don't know how to break it to her. Ah, uh, it's no big deal. Just say it however comes naturally. Xiang Ling of all people isn't bothered about that kind of stuff. And anyway, she still won in the end. Oh, hey, here you are. I've been looking for you for ages. Xiang Ling, there's something I need to tell you. Hmm? W what is it? My grandfather always said to me, in contests of food, always follow your heart. Which is to say that in gastronomical disputes or in these competitions, both that they agree with, the decision should be based on one's honest thought.
Listen. Oh, you made a... <clears throat> Didn't I say already? I love this about you. You're just so conscientious about everything. Half-baked feedback just isn't meaningful to me at this stage. Seeking reassurance is what novices do, and it's been a long time since I was a novice. The way forward from today will only get more challenging, as will the dishes cook. Honestly, I'll meet friends like you. You know what Wong is like, right? Beidou's always telling me she can the the board times. So you see, Ning Wong's kind of that she doesn't like her reputation to get in the way of the book. That type of work, it's time to let go. Traveler. Tongling, I... Anyway, what are we standing around here for? Let's go and check on the status of the st statue. Oh, yeah! Paimon had nearly forgotten about that! Let's go see! Change my bit. This doesn't make any sense. We cooked our hearts out. Does this mean the competition wasn't enough to awaken the statue? <laughs> oh well. I suppose it was simply not meant to be. Already, there's no harm in waiting a little. On another note, I have some good news for you, Kuching. Things are looking optimistic for that recipe you gave me. Master came by before the competition and filled in the parts that were missing. So now I'll be able to cook it. Fleur, could you? be needing this dish during your class, so I figured with The Traveler and I made one each. Here, have a taste while it's still warm. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Oh, 
This recipe is my grandfather's creation. My grandfather was a real estate tycoon in Lua. He was a scholar, an avid collector of old books, and was quite knowledgeable on many of Liwa's customs and traditions that are no longer practiced. As a child, I used to spend a lot of time with him in his study. We'd read the classics together, then debate how much of it was actually genuine, and whether Rex Lapis was real or not. He used to say, books are just a bridge that bring us a little closer to history. It's up to those of us in later generations to ask these questions, search for the answers, and decide what they mean. Since then, my grandfather has passed on, and I've grown up to become a Chi-Sing. My views on Rex Lapis have changed in this time too, from to reality. For me, the name Rex Lapis is inextricably wound up with memories of my grandfather. Whenever I see his name written down, it always reminds me of sitting in my grandfather's study, seeing all of his notes. As I said earlier, this recipe came from the same notes. It's an ancient dish that he was trying to restore form, but unfortunately, with the recipe, he never quite succeeded. Still, each time he tried cooking it, he'd always get me to have a taste while it was still warm. This really is the taste of ancient dish. Are cornbread buns really? There and take road, so the perfect thing to eat on the go. Chili corn. This good statue looks like Guava. Indeed. What about the open stove? Guava. Guava is a god? You asked me if a sufficiently festive atmosphere would be enough to reawaken the stove god. And my answer is this. Yes. And no. The stove god has always been a deity with great affection for the people, and who acts in response to the desires. They are deeper, more innate. They are the heart's strength in its purest form. Masterful chefs is wonderfully exciting, but it is more an exercise of passion than of desire, 
and passion alone will not suffice to reawaken the deep slumber. Now, when crushing the deeply desire. A moment of nostalgia so vivid, it felt like she was right there. Just one more Been with us alone. Glory day. Different. Woba was once the patron. God, surrender. What does it mean? The kinds of trials and tribulations that a land can face are far more. In the thing if you join your dream the it was his and very and the aroma of cooked food into every household in the land. You when you when stone struck stone. On the brain, called it Gwalius. This cared greatly for the people and dominions who went into every home fostering food and solidarity alike. Their home was taken by blood. The war ravaged the Gwalius Empire, forced the people to Liue Harbor. Though the distance was not far, journey. By a storm. For a dozen days, the Adepti stayed by their side. During this time, the stove god cooked an ancient delicacy, flatbread with a meat sauce to stave off the cold and damp, fit for those on the move. Centuries later, disaster and plague arose. and his wits greatly reduced. Thus, his body decreased in size. By the time he parted ways with us, he wasn't even the height of a human. He told Rex Lapis and I of the dishes that bring joy and of the secrets of the flame, then went into the mountains and entered into a long slumber. The stove god departed, and Guoba was born. When he awoke, he ate the chili men's cornbread buns placed on the offering table by a young lady in yellow. Though he did not remember the past, he was profoundly moved.
Rejoice, we are blessed by heaven's good grace. Years have gone by, the world has transformed, but our way of life survives. should embrace. is also found by millennia of human history and culture to come. My dear friend, He is now his king. No worry in the whole world. In this world, truly be said to live a life free. care of him. Go out. Love to eat. Drink. Globa follows you around because he has respect for you. The moment he awoke, he was met with a familiar flavor in the chili mince cornbread buns he ate. as the one who had cooked it. That's right. The taste of one's home cuisine always brings back memories of... ...give him a feeling of familiarity. That is why he stuck by you. You may be the first person in history to give the stove god... That makes you quite a remarkable chef. Wait, and I still have things to do. Have to say goodbye. Traveler, Paimon, Xiangling, thank you all very much. I look forward to spending more time together in the future. Master, there were things you had. You just about you all. Then, 
far be it from me to refuse. Off we go, then. Let's saunter over gently and see how all the city folk are getting along. Hi, Dad! I'm back! It's my soul. Recognizes he seems quite delighted. It will always with what do you think of the name of evil? Is a carrier of countless emotions. Seem to surface as we gaze up beneath its poignant glow. Memories of those no longer with us. Debts of gratitude to old friends. The meaning of ages past and gone. All. The sight of many things puts one in a wistful mood, but children... ...it's too well for me within the land itself, a land that has been existing for many millennia.
the wind. 